Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson we're going to learn how to import data into Microsoft Access. As you recall in the previous lessons we entered our data manually and we designed our tables manually. In the real world you're probably going to have to import data into Microsoft Access either in Excel format or text format which will be converted to an Access format or to a database. Okay, so let's start. In order to do that, just click on the external data tab here at the top and click on the Excel. Now, I actually provided a table that I attached to this lesson as an example. Make sure you download it first before you perform this function. So I'm going to go to browse and I know where my table is located. It's in the same folder as my main database and the table's name is for customer data. So click on that and click on open. So Access is actually going to ask you, do you want to import the table? Do you want to append a copy of the records to another table? Or do you just want to link it? In our case, we want to import the whole table. The other option append means that you're actually going to merge it with another table and link what it means is you are not going to import the data physically, but you're going to link to that database. So Access is just going to create a link and not store the data in its own database. All right, so let's try and practice some importing. Click on import and click OK. And now I'm presented with a screen called client list. So this is just an example of a client list where I have my account number, client's name, address, email address, as well as some other information that you can check. So what I want to do is I want to import this list. I'm just going to click on next. And what Access does is it checks off this box automatically. First row contains column headings. If in another example you don't have this, you can uncheck it. In my example, I actually have the headings and I'm going to keep them. Then I'm going to click Next. What happens next here is Access automatically tries to determine what data type is stored in each column. So account number, data type double which is just another uh, terminology for a number. You can use double for numbers if you prefer. Then we have client's name, short text, address, short text, email address, short text. And we just scroll here and check the other ones. We have a discount column, which is also short text. Credit card number. Actually, usually credit card number would be a double or a long integer. But because we are coding it with four X's at the end to make sure that this is not visible, I'm going to store it as a text. If you're importing actual credit card numbers, you can change that data type to another format. All right. And total orders over five years, um, access selected currency, and I'm going to keep it as currency. Then I'm going to press next here. So now I have a primary key option. Access may be able to add a primary key for me. I do not necessarily have to do that. I can say no primary key if I want to, or I can choose my primary key as the account number. In this case, just to make it simple, I'm going to keep this option. Let access add, add primary key. And I'm going to click next. So Access is now asking me, well, how do you want to name this table? You can name it anything you want, and I'm going to name it as client list. I'm going to keep the same name. All right. And finally, I have to click finish. So now Access is saying that it finished importing the table to client list. Do you want to save the import steps? I don't want to do that right now because I'm not going to use it very often. I'm just going to do it once in this case, but if you want to do it on a regular basis, you may want to consider that option. I'm just going to leave that as no, and I'm going to click close. 
All right, so I have my table name called client list and I'm just gonna right click on it and click open. And now my table opens up. So I have all my client information. My ID is my primary key added by access. So I have about 19 records, which is another useful feature. If you out of number um, records, you know how many records you have. But also here at the bottom, in, it indicates they have 19 records. I have my account number, client's name, address, uh, email address and other information stored in this table. And now I'm able to work with this table and extract information from it. This is it for today's lesson and thanks very much for watching.